Hi lovely viewers, it's me again your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Urgent matter of public importance, Madam Speaker. What is the nature of the urgent matter? Thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, on the 22nd of June, 2022, which was a Wednesday last week, 12 pupils, Madam Speaker, at a school named Wesley Nyarenda Combined School in Indeke Village, were aghast and the matter was reported to the police. And allow me, Madam Speaker, to refer to a news item on Friday, 24th of June, 2022, reported in the Daily Nation newspaper of last week. The title of the news item is 12 pupils gassed in Kitwe. About 12 pupils at Wesley Nyarenda Combined School in Indeke Village were rushed to Kitwe Teaching Hospital with chest pains and dry coughs after an unidentified people sprayed unknown substances in a grade two class which choked the pupils. Ms. Doris Lungo, a senior teacher of house number H134, Deke Village, reported that unidentified people have sprayed an unknown substance in a grade two class which chopped the pupils. Copper Belt Police Commissioner Sharon, Sharon Chelo Zulu confirmed the incident on Wednesday around 13 hours and the said 12 pupils were examined and observed at the hospital. Madam Speaker, Wesley Nyerenda Secondary School is in my constituency. And Madam Speaker, I've been receiving phone calls from the community that pupils are reporting for school with a lot of fear that the incident might repeat itself and the level of concentration has been affected not only at Wesley Nyerenda Secondary School but all the other schools because these are school going children, Madam Speaker, coming from the same community. I rise, Madam Speaker, pursuant to Standing Order 134 and I direct this urgent matter of public importance to our honor the Vice President to seek further guidance and assure the members of the public that these cases of gassing which have reappeared with particular reference to Kamfinsa constituency are receiving the right amount of attention from government. Madam Speaker, you always set a criteria for an urgent matter of public importance. This is a recent matter of occurrence. This is a matter that has caused apprehension among us, the pupils and the parents as well. And the matter has been well reported in the public media. And I believe it requires assurance from government in terms of steps to provide the right education environment as well as safeguard the school going children. Madam Speaker, I seek your further guidance. Thank you. Thank you very much, Honorable Member for Kamfisa. You have indeed raised the matter, which is important, but, and also you have set the criteria. But the remaining criteria that you did not ask yourself was, is it a matter of life and death? Of course, of course I understand that there is fear that has been instilled in the children. But I believe uh, the best way to confront this issue is to put in a question, even an urgent question, 
through the minister or through the, her owner, the vice president's office, to inquire and then maybe come back with a, an, an appropriate answer to this question. Of course, it's dreaded that uh, we should go back to the days when there was gassing, when there was so much apprehension. As I said, the matter is important, but it does not qualify to be raised under standing order 134 as read with 135. The Honorable Member is advised to put in an appropriate question directed to the respective Minister or her Honour the Vice President so that an appropriate answer can be can be provided. And also being the Member of Parliament coming from that constituency, I think the people of Zambia expect more. When th things like that happen, you should be on the ground to find out what exactly happened because the people of Zambia will benefit more from the person who is on the ground, in, in, also engaging with the relevant institutions. So let's not just demand answers from the executive, but us as members of parliament, let's make sure that we also engage and find out what is it, what is happening on the ground, and also engage the executive so that by the time the matter comes before the floor, on the floor of this house, at least uh, some mechanism or measures would have been taken to prevent a further uh, harm being suffered by the children. Thank you. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. All right, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.